Hey guys, um, so we have Tammy Stowe back and today's going to be a fun uh, little discussion. We're going to talk about um, what mistakes that buyers make. So this is going to be fun, just kind of give some advice on what to not to do and also kind of if you have stories you want to tell, go ahead and do that obviously within in confidentiality, but <laughs> <laughs> um, but definitely go ahead and uh, we'd like you to uh, kind of give some examples on some mistakes that buyers tend to make and how they can avoid making those mistakes before closing. So. Okay. Um, I guess first and foremost, um, be very careful about changing jobs mm -hmm. or quitting your job. Um, as long as you're staying within the same line of work, um, you're you're you should be fine. But if you're going to do in if you're going to make any changes at all, always call the lender and let them know what you're doing. Um, even if you're going to be changing positions within the same company, just make sure that you give them a call because they could be changing the way that you're paid. Um, going from W two to ten ninety nine can completely kill the deal. Um, if you are a 1099 employee, you have to have two years tax returns that show that you've received your, uh, your income that way. Um, what a lot of folks don't realize, they think, oh, they just got out of school. I can't really move forward. Well, believe it or not, your schooling, as long as the, the employment that you have is within the same field that you went to school with, and went to school for, I can actually use your education as part of your work history, mm -hmm. which is really good. That's, that's a positive thing that you can do. Yeah. Um, I think one of the biggest things that people do um, is they overutilize their credit. Do not go open up, you know, furniture store, even if they say, oh, we're not going to report it until after you close. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. um, you know, don't get a credit card because it has 0% interest. Um, be very careful about letting people pull your credit. Now, mm -hmm. um, most utilities, things like that, they are soft pulled. Mm -hmm. But um, even Verizon or your cell phone companies can sometimes be hard pulled. And if your credit is, is marginal, that credit pool can make a big difference in not just your approval, but it, it can also affect your interest rate. Um, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, um, the difference between a 660 score and a 680 score can play a very large part in the interest rate that you receive. Yeah. Um, don't go buy a new car. <laughs> <laughs> we have to remind them that, but it's only because it happens all the time. <laughs> it does happen. Um, you know, don't go co-sign for someone on a car. Um, you know, anything that affects your credit or your income or anything like that, just just be very calm and keep it as you know as steady as you can. Um, and First and foremost, if you're thinking of doing something and you're not sure, call and ask the question because it's yeah. better to know sooner than it is later because yeah. those types of things can truly affect your, um, your approval, um, especially when folks are doing new construction or a build. Um, if you've got four months before you're going to close, um, you don't want to stop using your credit cards. Um, if your credit becomes stagnant, that can cause your credit to drop. So you just really want to kind of keep what you're accustomed to doing. Yeah. Um, but again, first and foremost, if you're not sure, ask the question, pick up the phone and yeah. call. We can give you the guidance. Sure. So basically just continue to live like you typically do, except mm -hmm. don't go opening new credit lines or don't, exactly. uh, don't inquire on uh, any type of new credit. Yeah. Um, so, it, can you give us a story of anything that you've seen happen that maybe kind of caused Actually, a closing not to go um, through? A couple of weeks ago, I had a young man call me. He was standing in 
of Lowe's and he's like, Miss Tammy, I can get my washer and dryer with 0% financing. And I'm like, no, you cannot. <laughs> was like, what you're going to do is you're going to take a very deep breath. You're going to turn around and you're going to walk out that door. <laughs> and if I find out that they have pulled your credit, I'm going to come and beat you like I'm your mother. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, I mean, I've had people, you know, literally change jobs two days before closing, thinking that it was not that big a deal, that, you know, they got a better offer, they were gonna be making more money, you know, and then we call to do verification of employment and they say that they no longer work there anymore. So I have to start all over. So, yeah. you know, it's, um, it's things that, and even though they're positive things that's happening for you, they can play a huge, huge part in what happens to your approval. Or yeah, I think that's what a lot of um, potential buyers don't understand is like, there's so many different things that go, it's not just your credit score, it's not just your credit utilization, there's so many other things that go into it that really, you you really, really have to be careful on what happens between the time that you've applied for that loan and the time you're closed. You're um, so, exactly right. And yeah, now definitely. with all the verifications that we do, yeah. um, and I mean, if you, even if you think two days before closing, you're going to be fine and nothing's going to happen. If you have opened a new credit card, now we don't do the credit pools. You know, a lot of the lenders out there will do an updated credit pool like 10 days before closing. If the credit score has changed or what have you, then that could completely destroy what you've been approved for. Yeah. We do not re-pull the credit, but we do have triggers that if you've gotten a new credit card open, it's going to let us know. So don't think just because you're closing in 48 hours that we're not going to find out because as soon as you open that card, it triggers our credit bureau, credit bureau triggers us, and we will We'll stop it right then and there just mm -hmm. to, to verify. Yeah. So Sometimes that $25 payment can kill your debt to income ratio. Yeah. Basically, bottom line is don't do anything without asking your lender. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tammy. Well, it was great speaking with you today, and um, I'm sure we'll be in touch shortly. Okay, Michelle. Thanks so much. Bye. Have a